Hello everyone and thank you so much for tuning in to Carly B TV. I'm Dr. Carly Shaboos. What's happening weekend? Over the weekend, I got a chance to meet a man who lives in Macon Bibb County who turned 100 years old. What's his secret? Take a listen. That's serving God for and thank him for everything he do for me. Meet Mr. Young Barron, also known as Mr. Buddy. Funny, loving, and a caring, kind man. And a longtime Pleasant Hill resident celebrating his 100th birthday. He funny. He tell jokes. <laughs> he keep you laughing. So if you're feeling bad, you go around here, you ain't gonna feel bad. <laughs> Surrounded by family, Mr. Buddy says he's so grateful to still be in the number. Oh, I, was I was born down in Randolph County. And I just come to Macon here. And I come to Macon in the latter part of 52. Been here ever since then. The latter part of 52. And here we are, 69 years later. Mr. Buddy is still living in Pleasant Hill, where he worked at his family-owned corner store and built a relationship with many people. His son owns Donald's Grocery on Fourth Avenue. He used to work in the store, and all my and everybody used to come there and go to school before they go to school and buy candy and stuff. And they was always talking about Mr. Buddy. It's so funny and keep you laughing. His daughter says with his parenting skills, she's grateful to have had one of the best. She has a message for others. It's a precious commodity. If you got your mom and daddy, love them. Treat them nice and always be there for them if you can. Because when they're gone, that's it. Mr. Buddy says his secret to living a long, healthy life is... Well, I can tell them, just to do the things I did. You know what I mean. Tend to your business and let other people know. Right. And, and, and you make it. Yeah, you make it. <laughs> In Bacon, Carly Shaboos, Carly V TV. 100 years old. How cool is that? Now, Mr. Barron says he enjoys fishing. And check this out. He says, don't eat everything that you see. Eat things that you may think is good for your body. Happy birthday, Mr. Barry, and I hope you enjoyed it. And have you guys checked out the pinkest party on earth? The 39th annual Cherry Blossom Festival kicked off last week. Now, over the weekend, I got a chance to uh, talk with some festival goers who say these are some exciting events that they had anticipated all year. Now, the event was hosted by legendary DJ Gentleman George and our local chief meteorologist, Jeff Cox. Now, they started out with the bed race, excuse me, they started out with the wiener race and then into the bed race. The wiener dog race, um, it was amazing. The pups lined up and they ran about 50 yards to the finish line. It was a really good experience, you guys. And check out that bed race. Now, oh my God, the Macon Bit Fire Department took over the trophy once again. This has been the most anticipated activity of the my year. my first time doing it, so now, I'm going to make this be my first time. I'm going to be the one going to do it all the time. Now, the newcomers, they were very close to winning, but hey, the Making Bit Firefighters, they took home the trophy. Now, the weekend experience ended on Sunday with a virtual parade highlighting some of the local businesses in the area, but overall, the fun never ended. People are getting out and they're having fun, and so much going on with the COVID and everything, and so much going on in our land right now, so it's real hard to get together. So this is a great thing, great opportunity for people to mingle. The atmosphere is great. Everybody having a wonderful day, you know, through all the pandemic that's going on, that we're all coming together, we're just all having fun and enjoying the festivities. More events are scheduled for this week. Be sure to check out CarlyBTV.com for a list of those events.